Hello and welcome to this nice vibration tutorial. I'm Renu from Amantins. Uh, with a bit of a weird setup today, I've got an IKEA glass, I've got a mic and an iPhone. And the reason for that is um, I'm going to put the glass on the mic so that you can feel the haptic vibrations in the nice vibrations demo. So you can get it from uh, the App Store or Google Play. And if you just open it, uh, you'll get access to a bunch of panels with a bunch of demos showcasing the various uh, possibilities offered by Nice Vibrations. And if you turn the sound on, you'll get this nice um, effect. But if you turn it off, and you just play with the app. You'll get vibrations, you'll get haptics that you feel in your hand, but you don't actually hear, you hear it because of the mic. So in this demo, for example, uh, vibration is triggered every time you tap the ball. Then uh, there are patterns in nice vibrations, uh, which are predetermined complex patterns of various intensity. And if you turn the sound on, you can hear the sound. So a drum roll. But if you turn the sound off, you'll, you'll feel that pattern. So you can use it for any sort of advanced pattern, sound, voice, anything, and it makes a strong difference when you feel it in your hands. Um, this panel lets you play continuous haptic patterns, so you can change the duration, and when you press on the button, it starts vibrating and you can tweak the intensity and sharpness at runtime. A good example of how you can use continuous patterns is uh, an engine of a car. And if you turn the sound off, you just feel these vibrations as the engine gets higher or lower. Um, you can also trigger transient, transient haptic patterns, which are just uh, one-time even spoke, you know, you just much more subtle uh, than continuous ones. Really good for uh, UI interactions or even picking up an object in your world. And then you also get access to presets. So these are mapped on top of Apple's guidelines uh, for success, warning, failure, haptics. Um, they are also replicated on Android, of course, but also on GamePad because uh, Nice Vibrations also works on the gamepad, uh, such as this Xbox gamepad. And the cool idea is that the APIs are unified. So with only one line of code, you can trigger a continuous vibration that will work more or less the same on iOS, Android, and gamepad. I say more or less because, of course, the hardware differs and uh, rumble motor on a gamepad is much more powerful than an iOS one, but the engine also lets you send specific instructions to your gamepad motor or to your iOS haptic engine. So you get complete control and you also get unified API. So that's the best of both worlds. Um, don't hesitate to download the demo. It's available on the App Store, on Google Play. There's also a PC and Mac demo available on Nice Vibrations website. I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next video.